Hi my friends, today we discuss about tetrapods and we try to create one of them. You see here they are used as protection against waves at the seashore. We base all our uh, discussion on uh, tetrahedron. This is uh, the first regular solid and you can uh, uh, see uh, or watch this uh, tutorial number 023 where I made a dodecahedron. You must know that uh, the tetrahedron has four faces and it has the longest uh, side, all sides are equal. Uh, when we inscribe in a sphere each of these five regular solids. We have to know that uh, Euclid in the year 300 before Christ has uh, written his book Elements and here is a translation of his book you see AF is equal to the side of the pyramid A F the side of a pyramid but in a modern formulation if the radius of the given sphere is unity then the sides of pyramids etc are of this successive values we are interested in uh, pyramid or tetrahedron we see here that uh, the side of such a pyramid is square root of 8 divided by 3. Our goal is to create this tetrapod which is based on a tetrahedron. As you can see that points A, B, C, D are vertexes of the tetrahedron A, B, C, D but we start by this presenting the tetrapod this is made of concrete tetrahedron is this one a pyramid with all uh, faces equal, identical. If we place together tetrahedron and uh, tetrapod, we see this. Now we have the real. Uh, view of the two objects but the drawing is everything for an engineer this is the drawing and as you can see we have three dimensions my friends a diameter of 100 a distance of 250 and a radius of 60 that's all. We use these uh, three dimensions to create our tetrapod. Let's start. Standard millimeters IPT. Sketch. XY. Align. 
from this point up of 260 250 excuse me which is the distance between the center point and each uh, circle of uh, that arms we draw another line starting also from the center point another one and close here we draw uh, this line and now we think about we think about the fact that these two are equal let's make them equal and this this line is the side of the tetrahedron its dimension is uh, as uh, Euclid said this radius of the sphere we inscribe a tetrahedron in a sphere the sphere has the radius 250 so we multiply 250 which is d0 multiply by s q r t of 8 divided by 3 okay now we have a fully constrained sketch all lines are magenta good finished sketch you see this is our construction based on this construction we create a new sketch in the same plane a new sketch we project geometry which is only this line and we hide the former sketch this line will be the axis for a closed contour which has 100 divided by 2 as the radius And we go down to the line of the center point and we place here that dimension of uh, 20 degrees divided by 2. We don't make calculus by heart. Finish sketch. Revolve and all is done okay next we start from the same sketch which now is visible and we create a sketch in the same plane a sketch with one line this must be projected. We project this line. Again, we hide in the first sketch. We make this axis and we draw lines. 
100 divided by 2, a line, close the line which is parallel with the first one, and the angle is 20 degrees divided by 2 as before. Good. Finish sketch. Revolve. But as a new solid. Okay. I make that new solid to be red. Properties. Appearance R R for red and now we have two bodies we multiply this last object around that vertical axis which is Y axis. Circular pattern, features, axis, y, not 6, but 3. Okay. <laughs> we have a very interesting combination and we combine, starting with this, this is the base body and the other, all of them, because they are a circular pattern, are added, joined, to the first body. Then we apply a radius of 60 for many times, and we end the work. Fillet, not like in the previous tutorial, but popular, ordinary, normal fillet. Of sixty, I hope. That's all. Okay. Now we try to see what is the volume of this interesting object. Physical update. Copy. Close drawing, double click, home, and we have just the same value. To finish the work, we apply concrete as material not this uh, texture because it is too uh, too uh, coarse but fine textured black and we have a texture of concrete if you want we can make this shaded simple shaded and we have the object if you want my friends if you want to uh, close 
and open the same object with no lines there you have to go to tools document settings settings shaded with edges is uh, by default and you select shaded okay okay now you can save this uh, object and uh, when you open it you'll see without that uh, uh, tangencies and so on that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye